Hey there, people. My name is Tagori, and welcome back to more Ratchet Deadlocked. There's, there's a drone around here. There we go. So, what are we doing? Well, we're running around and trying to defeat all of these drones. Why? Well, because we were told to. Why else would we? Dread Zone started out with two guys fighting over a breakfast burrito, and the rest is history. Four more. Three. Two. One more. Stay on target. Stay on target. Ow. There we go. Hard to hit. I did check, and there is one more cheat that I unlocked, and I, uh, I hate that they're called the cheats, because the most of them aren't hey, cheats. Oh, there. Uh, the, the one that I did unlock is Super Bloom, which is uh, just a camera filter, essentially. Ratchet, if you activate the your transmitter nodes in that area, I can triangulate the beacons to locate the ship. Ow. Hi! Alright, well, there's something behind me. Right at the beginning here. So what was that? Also, can I get the braidwashing mod? I think I can. Remember, don't try any of this at home. Go to a friend's house. Just kill this little wow, we really actually haven't heard from Juanita in a while. I just tried to reload. <laughs> uh... Ow! Double ow. So how do I get in there? But also, I do want to unlock... Brainwashing. Nice. I don't think I'm going to put it on anything, but it's good to know that I have it. Oh, wow. There we go. And they evolve into the dual raptors. Get a jackpot mod. So, now, these are even stronger. Also, when they hit a wall, they bounce. And I think it's just any enemy, really. So, when things, when weapons reach their maximum level, they evolve slightly, doing some sort of extra effect. And that, I've been waiting so long uh, to mention. <laughs> Do I remember what all of them do? No, not in the least. You know, I probably wouldn't have even 
realize that that was there if uh, those guys weren't up here. Ow! I thought that would have killed it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here, let's flail. Okay, now that I dealt with all that other stuff, I can deal with you. Good. One thing about Ratchet, you give him any lip and he'll feed you a lead sandwich. You okay. that, Juanita. So with all this, uh, you know, evolving, being done, I'm probably going to use my raptors quite a bit less. As, you know, I do just want to evolve everything. Just there we go. Speed mod gets a hundred extra power. Pop a couple of those guys. So I should be coming up. On the, uh... The vendor? Also, boy, that health. Hey, look, there's the vendor. I really wish I could buy health. So what am I supposed to do? How do I get... How do I get through? Because I'm pretty sure... It's an EMP. health. Not gonna be enough, but it's something. Hmm. So what do I want to try and take these guys out with? Probably the Arbiter.
There we go, Arbiter level 3, and ammo mod, exactly what I needed. There we go. Team Darkstar is in rare form tonight. That health, absolutely welcomed. But also, this thing does not get a lot of experience per kill. Uh huh. Where's the other one? He is down there. He is stuck. He is trying to get to this. Well. I mean, I could do it myself. Might as well. Since this is the only thing left to do in the entire level. Blow up the statue. Don't mind if I do. Well, I just lost 50 bolts. Unfortunately for Ace's ego, Team Darkstar will have to blow up the statue to access the hangar underneath. Ratchet, you will have to command your bots to set the expl explosives on the statue. So another thing is that if you are playing multiplayer, um, you'll have to use all of these extra gadgets yourself. That... Okay, that did. Excuse me? Arbiter. Man, look at him go! You know, for a little guy, this Lombax can really put the smack down! Have you ever seen the Diablo in the pale moonlight? I have, and it's fantastic! Ow! Out of ammo. I could use this. B6 Obliterator. Where are these shots going? Sweet. What do I do? Just wait 10 seconds? Oh man, these guys are hot! Did you feel that, Juanita? Ow. Unbelievable, folks! Ratchet has defeated the Torval battle course and escaped from the planet's surface aboard a space shuttle hidden inside the Ace Hardlight Memorial! Only on Dread Zone, folks! You can't make this stuff up! The Vindicator Tournament! Ratchet, you have now qualified for the Vindicator Tournament. to fight off Dread Zone forces. Sure. Now, I don't have to do this. Uh, you know, I've unlocked the, the tournament. So that should be good enough.
But I do just want completion. You know, sometimes I think I should have taken that job on Annihilation Nation. They've got a great devil plan. Also, I do like the fact that they mentioned Annihilation Nation, which was uh, another arena in one of the previous games. Oh, I can blow up the missiles. Kidding me? He's not even on the map. go. Easy. 20,000 points. And that's the only thing to do here? Really? I should... I should... I'll do those later. Whatever. Let's go to the containment suite. I should have enough to buy the bot upgrade. We'll see. Last week, we saw the spectacular deaths of leading contestants Agent Bizarro, Plasma Woman, and Orange Comet. Now, the low-seeded Lombax, known as Ratchet, has surged to the top of the Dread Zone rankings. Frankly, I can't believe the little furball made it this far, Juanita. He is a scrappy sucker, huh, isn't he? He certainly is, Dallas. He's also a threat to children, endangered species, and common decency. Well, a threat to common decency. That's hilarious. And whatnot will be able to breathe a little easier once Ratchet has been cut down to size by the Eviscerator in this week's Exterminator Smackdown. No opponent has survived even 60 seconds against his razor-sharp titanium blades. Hmm, I'll bet he doesn't have any trouble getting a close shave, Juanita. <laughs> you get it? Shut up, Dallas. You're not that funny. Much like our, <laughs> much unlike our sponsor. could have really just thrown in like a shaving sponsor in there. Well, <laughs> since you asked, I have 16 terabits of tri-directional asynchronous bandwidth on my core CPU. Ooh, that is a lot of throughput. Oh, uh, well, I... <clears throat> hey, Clank. I, I will call you right back. Who was that? Oh, uh, nobody really. Was that the tech droid you were talking about? Hey, did you get those blueprints? Y yes. Oh yeah, you the man! Uh, but I have learned that many other heroes are imprisoned at this facility. We must help them, Ratchet. Well, sure, but how? I have noticed that the security monitors tend to go inactive when there is a big arena matchup. So if I fight one of the exterminators in the arena, it'll buy you some time, huh? It is dangerous, but it is the only way. No sweat. Those guys are toast. I feel like I should really coordinate with this. Anyway, is there anything over in the shop here? I'm gonna make sure that I have full ammo. Oh my god, it's the harbinger. Okay, so um in previous games, there's been the Rhino, which is a rip you a new one. In this game, this is the first game without a Rhino in it. Um, instead, it has the Harbinger, which still really good. Oh, but then I can't. I need to buy <laughs> the wrench upgrade. <laughs> oh, great. Because that just proved to me that uh, there could be multiple different upgrades stacked, and you have to get them in order. So I will be getting the wrench upgrade. Am I going straight into the eviscerator fight? Because I don't want to. 
I'm going straight into the eviscerator fight. Due to what can only be described as miraculous luck, Ratchet has made it all the way to the Vindicator okay. tournament. Uh, but excuse before me? he earns the rank of Vindicator, he'll have to survive the Battle Dome's deadliest challenges yet, and then take on the Eviscerator. It's time for the weapon cycling round. This time, Juanita and I will choose which weapons Ratchet can use from moment to moment. Are you ready, Juanita? So this isn't bad. Folks at home can dial the number at the base of the screen now to vote for your favorite weapon. I was a bit confused there because I was trying to switch weapons and I wasn't. Oh. And another thing about this is that because it's automatic and forced, this is level six. Because it's forced, I have unlimited ammo. Oh, out of range, shotgun. Let's see how he does with this. That was weird. Twenty extra power. Try this one on for size, you filthy lombags. Did I just? Oh no, Arbiter. I thought I had gotten the same gun twice in a row. Are you kidding me? I'm getting a lot of experience in this. Ah, and the raptors. Ow. So let's try that one again. Okay, yeah. So much carnage right at the beginning. Health level up. Team Dark Star simply won't give up. Oh, I can only have a certain number of mines out. Let's see how he does with this. Also, I wonder what would happen if you, for some reason or somehow, didn't have these weapons. Because it does feel like it's locked to specific rounds. Okay. Wow. I was that close to finishing. Uh. Ah! Oh, what's this? Team Dark Star must dodge a massive bomb drop from a fleet of dreadnoughts? What psycho stopped this challenge up? Huh? What's that? Reactor and shell shot? I didn't even know they were friends. Say, did they use to the carpool? Hmm? I'm sorry? Oh, right. Yes, let's go to the action!
Do I just have to survive? Got some hollow shield. I, these things are just targeting me. Just really right on me. Keep moving. Nothing can hit me. Also, where are all the enemies? Ow. What? Um. Huh. <sighs> B6? Two. One. I lived. Okay. Whew. Welcome to the matchup of a lifetime, Dreadzone fans. Our challenger, known for his exploits in organized crime, his dabbling in the occult, and his hatred of sunshine, puppies, and chocolate, here's Ratchet. His opponent is a master of disembowelment and a fantastic chef. Ladies and gentlemen, the Abyssalator! Guys, I predict this match is going to be very quick and very bloody. I almost feel sorry for little Ratchet. <laughs> she didn't mean that, folks. Okay, so I'm going to start with a bunch of mini turrets. And then Arbiter. That's not fair. Oops, out of ammo. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. Back to what I was doing. And with this, 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, what do I want to have a lot of experience go to? Um. Sure. This is the lowest. There we go. He's dead. And I am a Vindicator. Nice. Stygia? Maraxis? Make way for our new Vindicator! Hey Al, I got here as soon as I could. Silence! Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? What are you doing? Clank, are you sure this is safe? It is an acceptable risk. Shh. I just need to close one more circuit. Now oh, you're a genius! You did it! I know. Ah! No! Looks like somebody broke the rules. Put it back on. You're <laughs> dead, Ace. Mm, that's good. I like that spirit. But save it for the arena. <laughs> this never should have happened. It's all my fault. No, Ratchet. Ace Heartlight did this. And Gleeman Vox gave the order. They made a mistake bringing us here, Clank. Now they're gonna pay for I it. I love that exactly. attitude. Like, that line in itself doesn't mean much, but everything that has set this up made it a perfect line there. Ugh. Max out ammo. I'm still a bit short <laughs> for the Harbinger. Ugh. Shawshank says, those two guns were like sissies. The sissies from the sissies place in the sissy land. <laughs> the Harbinger, on the other hand, is the final word in gratuitous destru destruction. Uh, I love it. Alright, so let's get a wrench upgrade, and then a wrench upgrade, and then a wrench upgrade? <laughs> wow, that was a lot. <gasps> Wait. Time bomb. My wrench is on fire. I have 80k. Let's see what I can do as far as upgrades here. I can buy this. Any fun? I and mean, that looks cool. Eh, whatever. So, with all this, I hope you've been enjoying this, and please join me again for another episode of Ratchet Deadlocked.